Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Extremely kind of you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> other, um, other things in life that get up your nose, that cause agitation and anger and lead to stress and anxiety. Little things. You know, do you know what I hate? Square drinking glasses. <laughs> they really piss you off, don't they? You go, <laughs> Tell you what, I uh, I'm going to have a drink. I need a drink. Whew. God bless. I think I have some more of that now. I'll tell you what, my pet hate in life is banks. I really do. I loathe banks. I loathe banks as they stand now. When I was a young man, <clears throat> you'd never borrow money. You might borrow a few quid from a few friends, go and have a drink, go to the cinema or something like that. But you'd never dream of going into the bank and saying, could I borrow some money? They'd say, what collateral do you have? They'd say, I don't have any. They'd say, piss off. <laughs> now, in the 80s, that all changed, didn't it? A few years ago, come on in. Come on, do you want to borrow money? I mean, you'd just be walking by the bloody place. <laughs> want to borrow some money? What? Do you want to borrow some money? No, thank you. No, thank you? Why not? What's wrong with you? Are you a lunatic? Well, I'm not going to make any difference. Have some money. Come on, here, have some. What do you want? What do you want? Buy some. Have a, have a house. Buy a house. Go on, but just, just buy a house. Do you want a house? Well, I haven't thought about it. Well, here, have it. There, have a house. Come on. Do you want a car? You don't want to walk around like everybody else. Hey, I have a car. And they just poured it on you. Now that's all changed. The images of the banks, which were at one time the caring bank. We are the caring bank. We are the listening bank. We are the friendly bank. We are the open bank. We are the bank that likes to say, yes, bank. <laughs> now it's changed totally. Now it's, are you out of your mind, bank? Piss off, bank. <laughs> Get out of here, you asshole, bank. <laughs> we don't give a shit, bank. <laughs> We're told that the economy of the high street depends on us, the people, spending our money. Now, to help the economy of the country, the banks arrange credit for us by letting us have credit cards. And we, to help the economy, take these credit cards and spend money that we don't have. And these bastards charge us for that. <laughs> and we're grateful. <laughs> Do you ever try to get in to see your bank manager? It's like getting into God. I'd like to see the bank manager. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I, I would. And you, you talk like a sycophantic idiot. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, know, I know he's very busy. I know. I, 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 I know. I know he's extremely busy and involved in financial matters, but I would be, I would be very grateful, please. If you could. And the same thing to you, is your fly open? You say, no, no, uh, should it be? <laughs> and you get in to see this bastard. And he's sitting there, like some omnipotent, have you ever seen him? They always... They always put their fingers together and they always have their glasses down like this and they all go, mm, 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 I can do mm, and, but I can't do that. My fingers won't see it. <laughs> come in, come in. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's very kind of you. I know that. Uh, would you uh, take a seat? Oh, yes, yes, I will, please. Uh, could I kiss your arse first? <laughs> Banks open at 9.30 in the morning. You right? And at 9.30 in the morning, there'll be six to eight or ten tellers all sitting there doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> because most of us, the public, do our banking between 12.30 and 2 o'clock. We turn up at 12.30, six of these bastards will piss off for the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I don't know about you, but when I have a choice of two cues, I cannot pick the right one. <laughs> There's two cues there, there'll be nine people in one queue, five people in the other queue, and I will not know which one to go for. And I'll be saying to myself, which cue should I go for? And the sensible me will be saying, don't be silly, David. Don't be silly. Go for the five. Five is less than nine. It's got to move quicker. So I go for the five. And the nine drops to six, four or three or something. And it's six against three, so I run over to the three. <laughs> and the five goes to two. And I run back again. And by the time I get back then, three more people have joined that little queue, and I'm going, where the hell, where did you come from, you bastard? What the hell did you get here? <laughs> I spent a whole day in the bank darting from one queue to another. <laughs> and when I get to the top, they say, we're closed. <laughs> it's an extraordinary thing to be in a queue and watch it going down. And you're going, come on, come on, come on. It's a three, three against two, three against two. <laughs> three against two, good, 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 good. <laughs> Two against two, two against two, good, we're catching up here. Two against two, two against two, right. <laughs> two against one, two against one, oh shit. Two against one, two against one, two against one against one. one. And I am always behind the one person who is banking for the third world. <laughs> In cash. <laughs> they bring out those bloody things, bags of coins. <laughs> and I want to tear them. I want to tear the pubic hairs out. <laughs> you never get in a rage like that. I want to, I'm standing behind. Oh, how did I get behind you, you asshole? Oh. <laughs> tear all these pubic hairs out, knit a scarf, and strangle the bastard. <laughs> banks now. Banks don't want you in the banks. Do you know this thing? This is the involvement of banks over the years. They do not want you and I in the banks. We're cretins. They don't want to deal with us. Let those assholes go outside. They have dispensing machines. That's where they want you, outside. <laughs> the rain, sleet, snow, howling northern winds, and we're standing there like a load of assholes. They're all in the central heating looking out. Mm. <laughs> look at those prats. Come on, have a look at these prats. Look at these, look at these prats. What, a, what an ideal place for muggers. I mean, really, what a great place for muggers. If I was a mugger, that's where I'd go. I'd stand by the bank. There'd be a queue of muggers. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to mug you in a moment. Oh, good. Yes, fine. Good. Yeah. How much are you taking out? I was thinking of taking out 40. We'll take out 60, OK? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the American banks have actually introduced uh, a queuing system, which is quite different. They have in the middle of a bank, like a, an area which is like a corral. It's got ropes all around it. And the sign which says, enter here. And then there's little tracks where you go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down. And there's a sign that says, wait here to be serviced. <laughs> and I think to myself, why do that? Why do 70 yards? I just climb over the rope. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just climbed over the rope. And this fellow with a big gun came over to me and says, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm just climbing back over the rope. <laughs> now this system has crept into our post office. Have you been on our post offices lately? You have this great meandering queue of people, all wandering around, <laughs> bored, brainless, zonked out, just going. <laughs> There's music. <laughs> they have a big television set. Have you noticed they have a big television set to show you all how wonderful the post office as you stand there getting older and older and older? <laughs> They're showing you things like facelifts. Nose jobs, beds that you can straighten your back on, all those places. And we're all wandering around. <laughs> I've seen people go around the post office three or four times and not buy a stamp. <laughs> They're just sunk, they're all going. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Have you ever noticed when, you, when you're there and one of the areas becomes vacant and you, you don't notice it? The queue will go. <laughs> I don't like those big queues. I want individual queues. That's what I want. Individual queues for individual people's needs. I think in every, every post office, there should be a queue for foreigners. <laughs> there should, I don't mind. I, I like foreigners, but I don't want to be in a queue behind them. I don't want to wait and wait and wait while they go through all that foreign crap. I want to get on with it. It should say, for people who cannot speak English. <laughs> behind an Italian and he's going I wanna I wanna I wanna know how uh, how uh, how will you say uh, um, the, the uh, you know you know what I mean I uh, um, I'm thinking, oh shit if I had a pen here I'd stick it in your head <laughs> There should be cues for people who know nothing about anything. <laughs> it should say, this is an arsehole's cue. <laughs> he knows nothing about anything. <laughs> they're always, they're there. And I go, um, hey, uh, do, you think, um, do you think I should, uh, this, uh, uh, parcel post, parcel post, is it better parcel post by sea or maybe by air? Uh, uh, train. Train. Can I send a parcel post by train to France? Uh, no, I can't. Can I? Oh, I could if the channel tunnel is open. Yeah, I suppose I could. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Grannies. <laughs> Do you ever get behind a granny in a queue? <laughs> all grannies want to talk about is their grandchildren. That's all they have in life. <laughs> Nobody has to ask them. They just volunteer all this crap information. <laughs> yes, yes, I've got three grandchildren. <laughs> New Zealand, yes, my daughter Sophie. She married this chap called Roy. I didn't really like him, but she liked him, so I suppose I couldn't say anything about it. But they have three children. There's little Rodney. Rodney. <laughs> A lovely little boy. <laughs> and Sylvia. And I'm sending them the birthday presents because it's over. And I'm standing behind her thinking, you old geriatric, for Christ's sake, die and let me buy my. Stuff. <laughs>